Hello boys and girls, it's me again. I'm here today and I'm going to make some soup today, but it's not a rhyming soup today. There are no rhyming words like cat and hat and phone and stone in my soup today. Today I'm going to be making a subitizing soup. So looking at numbers today. Now I've got lots of different ingredients. Let's see what I have got to put in my soup pot today. I have got celery and carrots and a banana and potatoes, apples and peppers. But I've got a little bit of a problem boys and girls that I need your help with. The recipe has given me the ingredients to put in that I've got in front of me but it hasn't told me how many I need to put in. So I need to know the amount that I need to put in. So I've come up with a bit of a solution. I saw that there were some dot patterns on the recipe and I've managed to find those and make the dot pattern cards to help me with my recipe. So if I show you the dot patterns, you tell me how many I need to put in my soup. Do you think you can do that boys and girls? That will be very helpful. Let's make a start then. So the first thing I remember on the recipe was peppers. So I've got some peppers over here. Now, I've got my dot patterns here to tell me how many peppers I need. So how many peppers do I need to put in, boys and girls? That's right. I need to put in one, two, three. Let's count them into the soup. So I've got one, two, three peppers for my soup. I've got a red one, a yellow one, and a green one, all ready for my soup. Now, the next thing I want to put into my soup is apples. So, let me have a look and see how many apples I need to have. Hmm, how many apples are there there, boys and girls? Can you count? One, two, three. There are four apples, four apples that I need to put in. Let me see. Is that the right number? No, that's three, isn't it? That was for the peppers, that's right. Let's have a look at the next card and see if it's the right one. How many apples? What does my dot pattern say? That's right, four. I've got four apples to put into my soup. Well, let's put them in. I've got one, two, three, four apples to put into my soup. This is going to be a beautiful soup, boys and girls. Now, what does my next pattern say for me? My next pattern says, what does it say, boys and girls? That's right, number two. I need to find what I've got two of to put in. Hmm, what have I got? Oh, what's that, boys and girls? Yes, I've got some potatoes to put in. I've got one potato, two potatoes to put into my soup bowl. It's looking very full now, boys and girls, isn't it? I think I might have needed a bigger pot. Let me see what's next on my ingredient list. I need to put in a banana. How many bananas do I need to put in, boys and girls? That's right, one banana. My dot pattern is telling me I've got one banana to put in. Let's put the banana into our bowl. This is going to be a delicious fruit and vegetable soup. I might even whisk it all up and make it beautiful. It might even be more like a smoothie. That'll be delicious. Now, what is my next pattern telling me, boys and girls? How many dots? That's right. There are five in my dot pattern. Let's see if we can count out five carrots to put in. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five carrots. Oh, look how big my soup pot is now, boys and girls. Are we going to have room for the last ingredient? I hope so. Let's see what we need to put in. Oh, we've got how many dots, boys and girls? We've got six dots. That's right. My dot pattern is telling me number six. Let's have a look and see if we can count six celery sticks. So I've got one, two, three... Four, five, six. And boys and girls, look at my soup pot now. I'm going to have to go down 
and put it on my cooker and heat it all up and make it yummy for my lunch. That was super help, boys and girls. Thank you for helping me with my subitizing soup today and counting all the dots. See if you can try this at home, boys and girls. See if you can make some subitizing soup with whatever ingredients you like. I'd love to hear about it. Bye for now, boys and girls.